Hello, everybody. Um, back on again with another video. And no, it's not about black men. Um, I'm not going to make my channel into a black man bashing channel because I do not hate black men, you know. Um, some of the things they do get on my nerves, but I do not hate them at all. But... Um, something just popped up in my mind and, uh, the question is, how do I be more feminine? No, as a matter of fact, it's not how do I be more feminine. It's like, you know, I believe that every woman, well, every black woman has it in them to be feminine. But, you know, I think that a lot of black women are not feminine and they don't support. They don't submit to black men because, number one, most of them didn't grow up, grow up with a, a father in, the, in their house. And if they did grow up with, with the father in their house, then he wasn't the typical masculine man, you know? He didn't, he didn't display that raw masculinity, and he allowed his daughter to get away with a hell of a lot of shit. I mean, I grew up with my father, and... and um, I was never, you know, a wild type of person. I didn't get into a lot of, you know, uh, promiscuity, you know, when I was younger, you know. I wasn't into, you know, a lot of, you know, I wasn't doing a lot of sexual things at a young age, you know. So that was never a problem. But, you know, I, I do have a very loving, loving father. And he is, um... You know, if I was to ever get married or get into a relationship with a man, I would want him to be somewhat like my father. Not all the way like him because there's some some qual there's some characteristics about my father that, you know, I, I really wouldn't want in a man because, you know, I feel like, you know, I won't be able to be the woman I need to be. But I feel like a lot of women, they don't submit to black men. And they they don't express their feminine nature around black men, at least certain black men. It's because they feel like if they submit to this, it's more of like a trust issue. Like, will I be able to trust this man to lead me into uh, where I need to be in life? And they don't want to. They don't want. Uh, a man to take their kindness for weakness because it's happened to me in the past plenty of times you know there's been time where um i let my guard down and you know i you know i would submit to you know black men and they would completely take advantage of that they would see that as a weakness you know and i don't know if it's because they weren't used to being around a feminine woman but you know i'm not a I'm not the typical, you know, argumentative black woman, you know, that's like, oh, this, that, and the third, that nigga better do this, that nigga, you know, that's not my personality. I'm a very calm, nice person, so the only reason why I don't submit to, you know, some black men is because, you know, I feel like I can't trust them, and I'm a very good, I pick up on vibes very easily, you know what I'm saying? I can tell when a man is about his soul. I can tell when a man is about his business and he don't play games and you know he he just not gonna take take no shit from a woman. But in in a way I still kinda held back because it's like, you know, if I was to get in a race relationship with a very masculine man, I wouldn't want him to take advantage of my submissive nature. I don't I don't want I don't want it to lead into a abusive relationship that's my biggest fear is being in being in, being in a relationship with a man and he ends up turning abusive towards me you know not only verbally but physically you know a man putting his hands on me is a big no-no so um that's the reason why you know a lot of these women they go they go for like a no a low caliber of men you know men that are not really about nothing because they want to control the relationship and they feel like that man is not going to resort to uh, to being abusive towards you or taking advantage of your feminine nature 
and I've had, I've had, I'm not gonna lie, I've had some horrible experiences with black men in the past, which, which is one of the reasons why I am afraid to date. And a lot of times when, like, you know, a man is interested in me, you know, I will shoot him down because I have a fear of, like, you know, I, honestly, I do have a fear of men because, um, I haven't been in a, in a lot of relationships. I haven't really dated like that. And I don't know a man's nature. I really don't know how men are. I know how they are, but I really don't know a man's nature. And, oh, sorry, I got a piece of ham in my mouth. But we fear the things that we don't understand. And um, in the past, you know, I've dealt with men that were... You know somewhat abusive not just verbally but physically and I remember dealing with this one dude he didn't he didn't like the fact that I was a, a submissive woman that I was feminine and that I wasn't always I didn't always want to argue with him or you no know, um you no know, just be like a nagging person and he hated that, you know. He would be like, "Yo, like, why are you acting like that? Like, you, yo, I'm, yo, you really got low self esteem and shit like that." Because he's he's used to dealing with hood rats, you know, bitches going upside his head and stabbing him, and you know, trying to fuck other bitches up and shit like that. Like, that's not me. That ain't me at all, you know. But. I want to be with the, you know, a traditional masculine man, and uh, I'm not saying I'm not trying to paint paint the narrative, trying to say that black men are all black men are abusive and shit like that. But you know, I know that you know, black men they have a more intimidating presence about them that keeps me from, you know, wanting to date because you know. I do want to be in, be in a relationship. I would like to be spoiled and taken care of. But, you know, dealing with men is kind of scary, you know. I've had horrible experiences with men in the past. And that's what keep that's what keeps me from being submissive or uh, being the woman that I need to be. I can be the I could be the woman that I need to be by myself. But to to, you know, allow a man to, you know, you know. To allow, to allow a man to lead me and just let my guard down is very scary, you know. Because, you know, I've heard horror stories of women getting their ass beat or a nigga going upside their head because they tried to break up with him and he didn't like it. He ended up doing some horrible shit to her, you know. And I don't, I don't have much experience with men in the past. I honestly don't, but, you know, I remember growing up in school and being bullied because, you know, I was a fat girl, you know. I didn't I didn't get a lot of attention from dudes, you know, back in, you know, back in school. It's not because I was ugly, but it was because, you know, I had weight on me. You know, men didn't like fat women, and most of them still don't, but, you know, you know, most black men, they don't really have standards, you know, at least the... The ones that don't have anything go, going for themselves, they they tend to date anything or fuck anything, whatever. But that's my take on it, you know. And a lot of times, like, I feel like, you know, I would just prefer to make my own money and be able to take care of myself. Because if I get into a relationship with a man and I'm not what he wants me to be, you know, you know will he, you know, get mad and want to kick me out and put me out on the streets or want to leave me for another woman like you know that's a very that's a very scary scary feeling you know and that's not really a good way to live because you know I don't want to live my life on regrets you know you know life is meant to be lived you got to go out there and live your life you know you got to take chances and shit and I keep myself from taking chances because of you know not knowing how men work and not knowing how to pick a man and I, although I have a good father, you know, and he still spoils me to this day at 26 years old, my father would do anything for me, you know. I ask him for anything, he will give it to me. If he ain't got it, he'll let me know he ain't got it. But I can ask my father for anything. If he got it, he gonna give it to me. And that's the type of man that I'm used to dealing with. So to, you know, 
to get into a serious serious relationship with a man you know you know a masculine man like it's like yo I don't know what I'm getting myself into, you know, that's and that's the number one thing that scares me because I need to know that this man has the best interest, you know, and he's not going to, you know, he's, you know, he's not going to, you know, take advantage of me. I just don't want to be taken advantage, taken advantage of. I don't want my heart broken, you know, and I know there are some good brothers out there. There really are, you know, and it's not that I haven't been around good black men, but, you know, majority of the time they're either taken or you know they don't find me attractive or you know or I'm just not their type you know what I'm saying so it's not that black women can't be submissive because you know there are some really good black women and a lot of black women are scarred from past experiences so it's not that we're always just you know willing to argue or that we're just angry and bitter you know a lot of black women have had traumatic traumatic experiences with black men and, you know, that's just, you know, that's just one of my fears, you know, because I don't hate black men at all. I don't hate black men, you know, and, you know, I'm like, I'm like every other woman, you know, I would like to be, you know, I want to be loved, you know, and love is something that's, that just don't exist these days. Besides from the fact that, you know, I know that love don't pay the bills and you need a man that's going to be able to provide for you, but. You know, love plays a big factor, you know. And a man that I can truly be myself self around and and let my guard down and he doesn't judge me, you know, he doesn't, you know, try to pick me apart or tell me who I should be, you know, that's a very hard thing to find in this world, you know. And I just I just really want to go on this rant because, you know, you know, all black women aren't bad, you know, we're not all, you know, looking to compete with black men or you know and we don't you know we don't it's not like it's not like you know we don't have the ability to be you know the best woman that we can be but you know that's just it you know that's really all i wanted to say so i you know just I just had some time to think about it and you know, that's my take on it, so.